Only a few weeks ago, Orbea launched their new aero bike, but today I've got something for the gravel riders amongst us, the new Orbea Terra. I'm going to show you all of the cool details, tell you everything that you need to know, and then we're going to weigh it and do the all-important free up sound check. So here it is, the all new Terra, a bike which will bear say they have designed from scratch for gravel enthusiasts. So first up, let me give you some of the headline stats. In the range, there are seven bikes, three colorways, two matte, one gloss, your choice of single ring or two by setups, mechanical or electronic shifting. But in addition to all of that, you can also design your very own bike using Orbea's Mayo Custom Creator so that you've got a bike unique to you exactly how you want it. We've got plenty of mountain points, inbuilt storage. We've got clearance for 45 millimeter tires, or if you use the slightly smaller 650B wheel set size, you've got space for 50 millimeter tires. When designing the bike, Orbea say they started with a blank slate in terms of the materials, the geometry and the components used to create what they say is an incredibly fun yet very capable bike. And the carbon fibre used in the frame set uses the same technology as what's used in some of Orbea's top spec road bikes, although the layup and construction process does differ very slightly to add strength and compliance into different key areas relative to the demands of gravel riding. There are plenty of aspects of this bike with a unique design to the frame, such as the asymmetrical seat stays, for example, designed to allow you to run either a single ring setup or a two by setup. The way they exit the bottom bracket and curve down not only creates the clearance required for those larger volume gravel tires, but also means when you run the bike in a two by setup, you've got clearance for up to a 34 tooth inner chain ring. So what's new in terms of the geometry on this bike? Because that really is what defines how a bike rides. So in addition to the usual sizes within the range, there's now an XXL size as well. We've got different head and seat tube angles for different sizes within the range, whereas the previous Terra used just one angle across the board. Now the further down the small and the size range you go, the head tube and seat tube angles become more relaxed. Now, the reason behind this is to try and keep the ride characteristics and the handling consistent throughout the entire size range. The chainstays are also slightly shorter, as well as the bottom bracket being ever so slightly lower. These two changes help improve the acceleration of the bike when you're sprinting out all the twists and turns on your favorite fire roads, for example. But to account for this change, Orbea have lengthened the top tube as well as specking most of their bikes with a slightly shorter stem than usual. This is to help keep the steering nice and precise. The integration at the front of this bike has been transferred over from some of Orbea's top spec road bikes. The use of this stem and the face plates underneath of it route the hoses and cables internally to the frame set for a nice sleek finish. This is particularly great for gravel riding, meaning you've got a sleek finish, but also keeps all those cables and hoses out the way, meaning you can fit tons of different handlebar bags, for example, which, come on, let's face it, is an incredibly popular gravel bike accessory. So this is the Infinity Green Carbon colorway, and I've got to say, I'm a big fan of this. I do really like this matte finish and how it's complemented with the gloss logos on the down tube here and also the gloss detailing on the inside and outside of the fork leg. I think that really complements the colours nicely. Throughout the frame we can see lots of different key areas where the layup of the carbon fibre changes and we're able to see that through the paint finish on this bike and it's a really nice detail that adds something a little bit special to the finish. A neat little addition to the frame is this inbuilt storage box or locker to give it its official name. Located on the down tube of your bike, you simply remove the cover using this neat little switch and then we've got access to inside the tubes where we've got a couple of different storage pouches and compartments where you could put an inner tube, a CO2 canister, a multi-tool or maybe even your favourite ride snacks. I mean, I'd 100% be putting my favourite ride snacks in there. Keep them tucked away nice and safe. On the back of the cover, there's a little rubber band so you could put your CO2 canister there or maybe even keep your keys tucked away nice and safe. And to help keep everything clean, tidy and dry, there's a little rubber uh, seal that runs 
all the way around the outside. Yeah, nice. There's a selection of additional mounting points throughout the frame, including some on the down tube for maybe additional storage or perhaps a third water bottle. And Orbea say you can fit mud guards to this bike because we've got a mounting point under the back of the forks and also a mounting point on the seat stays themselves. Although, if you do want to keep clean and dry in the winter months, you are going to be slightly limited to the maximum width of tyres that you can use. So what about the bike that's in front of me here? Well, this is the M21E Team 1 by version, finished in infinity green carbon. And I think, come on, it looks incredible, doesn't it? The bike is built up with SRAM Force one by the Explore gravel-specific version. We've got a 40-tooth chain ring on the front and a 10-44 to 44 tooth cassette. Paired up to the bike are the Fulcrum Rapid Red 500 wheel set. These are running 160mm rotors at the rear as well as the front. Fitted to the wheels are Pirelli Cinturato Gravel H tyres. These ones are a 40mm width. At the front of the bike we have a 90mm stem. This is the design which roots the brake hoses internally to the frame set. The handlebars are 420mm wide and these are the Eastern gravel specific bars which have a slightly more pronounced flare to the drop. Although you could spec the bike with Orbea's own handlebar which has a slightly less pronounced flare to the drops. The weight of this bike, well unfortunately I've left the scales back at GCN Megabase but rest assured I will weigh it as soon as we're back and we'll have a little graphic just coming to the bottom of the screen there to show you the weight of a bike as it stands in front of me. So all that's left is to do the uh, all important free up sound check. Let's get this wheel up to speed. Oh, very quiet. No disturbing the wilderness and wildlife with that. So all in all, the new Terra has been completely overhauled, ready for endless exploring, overnight adventures, and gravel trails. Hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up. And why not let me know in the comments section down below what you think of the all new Terra. And don't forget, subscribe to GCN Tech for all things bike tech related.